Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith and today we're going to do a lovely stuffed pork loin and we are going to stuff it with asparagus. So I have a nice pork loin here. I'm going to take it out of its package and trim it up. You want a nice thick piece of meat because you're going to cut it so that you can stuff it. Put that out of the way. There we go. Asparagus over. So we don't want the long skinny ends. We're just going to cut that off, save it for something else later. This looks lovely. So it's got some silver skin on it. So we are going to trim that off. So you do want a really nice sharp knife. Let me get the edge here. Okay, so that is not what we want. It's just a little piece of fat or whatever. The silver skin's actually a tendon, and that is quite tough. So you don't want to be trying to chew on that when you're eating your dinner. So this is the bit we want to get hold of here. And of course the cat thinks he's going to get some treats here. That's why you hear him crying. Now if you don't get it all off, that's alright, just as long as you get the majority. Okay, that's good enough for that. And this end's kind of skinny as well, so I think we're going to cut that down. So we're not going to have a huge pork loin, but it is going to be enough for a couple of people anyway. So now you want to take your knife and put it in about an inch above the cutting board. And just put it in and roll your pork loin so you're There we go. <clears throat> now for the talk. The thicker your pork loin, the better you're going to get because you're going to have a wider piece of meat. So now we're going to take our asparagus. And don't cut your asparagus. We don't need all of that. So the best way to get it at the right um, level so that there's no tough bits to chew on is just take it between two hands and bend it. It will snap off where it meets the, the tough meets the tender. And if you like you can even that up. But it's okay because it's going to be sticking out a little bit here. We got the tip sticking out that way. I don't know if we'll even get all of these in. And some sticking out that way. And then we're going to roll it and wrap, tie it with butcher twine. Okay. There we go. So let's just even our rough ends a bit because it is sticking out quite a ways. So with the butcher twine, get yourself a good length. I'm gonna start there. Now you tie this end off. Let's get it back into the camera view. Now 
And then what we do is we just wrap it around and pull it through. And then wrap it around and pull it through. And just repeat all the way down your piece of meat, making sure that the edges come together and tightening it up as you have to. Go. When you get all the way to the end and it's all closed up, then we're just going to tie off that end as well. Now that you have your beautiful pork loin stuffed with asparagus all tied up nice and tidy, we're going to put it into an oil dish, here in its dish, so 350 degrees, and it won't take very long, so we're talking half an hour, three quarters of an hour, I mean just make sure you keep checking it, depending on the size of your pork loin, it could take longer, or not as long. Alright, now we start with pe green peppercorn and gravy, <clears throat> so we've melted about a tablespoon of butter in a pan. We're going to add a large chopped shallot. We're going to let that soften about three minutes or so. So once those are softened, we are going to add our green peppercorns. Now I have mm, about a tablespoon and a half of green peppercorns. If you really like pepper, go ahead, add up to a quarter of a cup. Then we're going to add a quarter of a cup of red wine. So we want this to get to bubble and we want the liquid to boil away. And once it's almost gone, we're going to add two tablespoons of white flour. Just plain flour. And mix that in. Let it cook for a bit. Not horribly long, you don't want to scorch it. And then we will add a cup and a half of beef stock. And stir that until it thickens. Okay, now that Once most of the liquid has boiled off, and it's starting to look mm, a little thicker, we're going to add two tablespoons of plain flour. And stir that in. And we're going to stir that continuously and let it cook for a little bit. Then all gravies, you want to make sure the flour, the raw flour flavor is cooked out. But you want to make sure you don't burn your flour at the same time. Now, slowly, Pour in your beef stock and stir continuously. Sometimes I think we have a design flaw in that we only have two hands. A third hand would come in very useful at times. Stopping the pan from sliding around the stove while you're trying to stir and pour at the same time would be nice. Once we get our beef stock in there, just pour the rest in. Stir and let it come to a boil. We're going to bring this to a boil, and once it comes up to the uh, soft boil, you're going to turn it down to simmer, and you're going to let it simmer for five minutes or so until it's nicely thickened. Um, and again, I said you don't want it super super thick, but you do want some body to it. 
So we'll leave that do its thing and come back when it's ready. Once it's done, you can put it aside and while well, you get the rest of your dinner ready. And then you can always rewarm it. There we go, it's coming up to a boil, so let's turn the heat down. Alright, there is our roasted pork stuffed pork loin. Now it is time to remove the strings and slice it up for service. So again, you want a good sharp knife. This is my carving knife, and actually it was my mother's, so it's been in the family. Um, it was a gift to her oh, on her wedding. So yep, yeah, it's been around a long, long, long time, and I love it. Love heritage stuff. So let's just slice through our strings. Unwrap. So now we're going to slice. And you do want to do a fairly nice thick slice because it's it's small, at least this one is. And, oops. Carefully, because that bit came apart. Look at how pretty that is in the middle. Can you see that? Once you get it all sliced up and ready to serve, it is such a pretty thing. And there and we have our like asparagus stuffed pork loin with green peppercorn gravy. It is so good, you're going to use the good china. Drop a like, make a comment, subscribe, and we'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching.